All right, here we are. We are back in action. We are at the Living OP Summit, and we are going to get some takeaways, some training, some aha stuff from um, Suze's training right now. And I'm going to bring her on stage to, um, I believe she's going to be sharing the equation um, with us. Oh. Sorry, Suze, I just uh, I just accidentally muted you. <clears throat> I'm gonna replace me with you. Here we go, Suze. You're up. Awesome. There I just go. realized my name isn't changed, so I'm gonna change that right now. Yeah. Um, and what will be um what will be training on? Uh, sorry. I mean, not sorry, just unable to do like five things at once or even two things at once. <laughs> um, so we're going to dive into <clears throat> implementing what we learn. So there's the equation to receive is notes, highlight or circle, and then statement. Like then you make it into a statement. I'm like, I got to look at my notes that I circled. Um, so notes, circle or highlight, and then statement so that you can know that your takeaways will stay with you. So um, I love to memorize things. Um, when I'm in, this question is asked a lot, like when you're in a group of networking or a new meeting or now Zoom meetings, because we have so many, um, how do you remember names? And what I do is I go around the room and I memorize, like I think something about them and I memorize it. And so in that, then I can remember somebody's name when I see them the next time, when I'm in a, in a situation where I will see them, you know, again soon. And so with that, being able to memorize the statement so that it sticks with me so that we use it. So this is now um, implementing, being able to take action and implement that statement. So we receive it and then we implement it so that it actually changes our life, you know, so that the important things that we receive can change our life for us to live on purpose, right? Because you can go somewhere, you can hear things, you can think, oh, what, what was that? that they said, or, you know, like, how did I felt something, but I don't know what it is. And so I mentioned this in the equation, but make it loud, make it big, make it whatever you need that statement to be in your life. Um, I love making signs. And so when something sits so well with me that I need it on a sign, I will paint chalkboard paint and I will, I will paint it out. Because actually, um, ooh, yes, hold on, I got to get the blurry out of the, where's my thing? Um, video settings, I'm going to not be blurry. Okay, so now you get to see this is the room that I'm in, but um, Stronger Together making a sign out of it, making a sign out of the words so that we can know um, what's important to us and what we need to keep around us and be reminded by so that we, oops, so that we actually do the things um, that we live the life that we're meant to live, that we um, are able to live on purpose. So I would, I would go into, in your aha moments, what is something that you would take away that you would want put onto a sign? Right. If you could think of the takeaways from today, what are the words that you would want on a sign? What would you want to hang in your house as a reminder of something you've taken away from today? Sister B. Well, I would take um, that shirt saying life is a journey. Fill your tank with joy. And trust in the unfolding would be yeah. my time. That's awesome. That's awesome. Would you write those in the chat? Mm -hmm. awesome. awesome. Who else? Who else would take something and want it on a sign? Look 
things that you guys that y'all I would put one thing that somebody put in the chat was no is a complete sentence yes I'm going to put that great big in my on my wall and then um celebrate the the sacrament of waiting awesome because to me that says patience but it says it in a different way and I like that a lot yeah would you put that in the chat also Awesome. Thank you. I love Brenda. Be open to the changes of life. Love it. Um, grow where you feel love. Becky P. Foxy, how about you? Let me hear your voice, please. <laughs> That's awesome. Um, open your eyes, heart, and arms. Mm, yeah, that's awesome. Love it. Shelly, how about you? Um, I was going <clears> to, <throat> I would have to say like celebrate waiting too. And I, I was just thinking like for me, I, it has to be catchy, you know, so I'm going to probably yeah. say celebrate the wait. Yeah. Ooh, and it even rhymes. Yeah. Love it. Celebrate the wait. That's awesome. Because when you think of when you think of the things that we hang in our house or that we have that we look to often, you know, to be able to say, you know, that that's something that you need. Celebrate the wait. You know, fill your tank with joy. Um, exhale the negative. Inhale the positive. That's awesome. Open your eyes, heart, and arms. Love it. The answers are within. Love it. Um, so in this, when you think about implementing, think of what, what would I take from that and what would I make into a sign? What would I want to look at daily so that this, what I received can be evident in my life all of the time? Right. So again, this is come, this can come from conferences. This is come. This could come from masterminds. This can come from relationships, from conversations. I mean, wherever this comes from, your your breadcrumbs, you know, your GPS, your your pause moments where you pull over on the side of the road. Those things where you need to look and go within to be able to say, okay, take this in. You know, because the things that we hear being able to to magnify the things that we hear that are for us and then in the next training moment we're going to talk about giving away um, what isn't yours to keep so that's about give what you've gained because <clears throat> sometimes we hear things that aren't for us but they are for someone in our life and so um that will be the next training point so yes Back over to you. Yeah, appreciate what you see in the rear view mirror. I love it. Love it, love it. Okay. All right. So I believe, so Suze, we are ahead of schedule, are we not? Um, takeaways from like the first half, is that what we want to talk about now, I think? open to yeah. sharing ahas and moments um, training. All of that was until one o'clock where then we will have Brenda um, yeah. on stage. So would anyone like to share any more ahas or <clears throat> excuse me, um, things that um, you will implement or that you've learned that were just really great insightful things from, I mean, a lot of you were in a breakout room too from the discussions from the last, the last two yeah. yeah. <clears throat> Did you see me? Yeah. Back okay. Away. Um, I really liked the visual I got from Sister B's um reading of the passage. Um, I saw um the leaves falling as negative and limiting beliefs, and how I'm letting those go, and the ways that I define myself. And that I'm getting back to that point where I'm just me. I don't have anything um, protecting me or um, 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 hiding me or 
anything like that and that I'm just being held in that space and um, and that um, that vulnerability is is um, just being witnessed by um, by the the movement of time and that um, that I am still giving off a shadow. Like when I feel like I'm, I have nothing to give or I'm, you know, um, I'm bare, right? Um, that I still give off a shadow, that my impact is still felt. And, um, and then, uh, you know, I know that what I am to be, will develop on its own and I will become that. So that's what I got from, from the reading. Thank you, Foxy, that's awesome. Um, let's see, anyone else? Uh, Shelly, I think that you were ready to share. No, I can't find everyone. Shelly, did you have something that you wanted to share with us? I think, um... You know, just in celebration of the fact that there aren't a lot of communities where people truly, or groups in general, where people really can come as they are and grow through that. Like on the, you know, I just, it's it's a rare thing. Like I avoid that sort of thing, kind of like the plague. It's a lot of drama. It's a lot of, you know, and, and sometimes the very groups that talk about how drama free they want to be are the most drama filled of all. And so like, it it was a big, like it's a big thing to like call somebody out or to say, ah, uh, I'm not sure if I agree with that or, and so I would say that that's the thing that I was reminded of this morning that uniquely like we do not have to have the same experience. We do not have to live in the same opinion and yet, I feel like some freedom in being able to say, yeah, I come down totally different on that. And yet, um, like, we just don't automatically go, well, that that person's a monster then. Like, they don't, you know, like, if this thing doesn't line up with, and, and here's why I think it's really important for where we are at this moment in history we're under this like massive, weird, cultural, global thing that's going on that's trying to pluck people up and put them in certain buckets. And I don't know about you, but I don't fit in the buckets necessarily that somebody tries to put me in. I might I have lots of people that I have lots of different things in common, and yet almost nobody who thinks very similarly to me on all the things, because we've all, we're on like a journey, right? So things that I wouldn't even like to hang out with 20 year old me, right? Did you ever think about that? Like thinking about the rear view mirror, would I choose to hang out with the person I used to be? Probably not. Would I choose today to hang out with the person I might be when I'm 105? I don't know. I don't even know. But I think that what we have within this community that's important is the ability to show up authentically without having to hide our opinions, be, I'm not saying be rude, but I feel the freedom to be direct and to be bold in what my beliefs are while at the same time respecting and loving other people for where they're at, even if it's different. And I think that that is a unique thing. And I don't think we should, my kids call it, don't under me. <laughs> like, we, that's how we, it's from some movie. I'm so under -demaciated. But like, I don't think we should under appreciate what that means. And I think that's, that is like, to, for me, that's the defining culture of on purpose with purpose. And I hope that always is so.
Thank you for that, Shelly. And that is, that is the foundation of, of this, right? Like Susan and I building the community off of our culture code, that is like the big part is that we're inclusive in that way, that your beliefs, your thoughts, they're welcome here. And we show each other respect in having differences in opinions or beliefs or, you know, fill in the blank. And um, love, love that that is an insight that you have about this community and that it is a safe space in that way, um, because it's true. And um, we honor, we honor that for sure. So thank you for, for bringing that to light. Uh, Sister B, I see you. I'm going to bring you up here. There we go. What do you got for us? Well, I would just say, like to say, um, I, I love that aspect very much too. And just to clarify myself as well, is that um, I feel like I, like in my opinion, do come from a place of, you know, what I believe. The thing is, I, I know what it's like to be in a different spot as well. So not coming from the same place that I come from in a, our sacred space on Friday mornings, um, but coming from a place that I, that I have come from. So I may not be there um, in, at the moment that that's not where I reside, but coming from a place where I've been there, this is my experience and that's where I've been. So just to clarify, and I know that that's not, um, I just want to clarify that I am being authentic in where I'm at. And just because I was not saying we, that we came from a different place in our reading and what have you, than we do on this very sacred space that um, I also have on Friday mornings that for me, it's one in the same because um, that's where I have come from. So I just wanted to throw that out there. I just yeah. Sorry, Beck. Thank you, Sister B. Uh, I love that. And, and uh, absolutely, um, Suze, I'm going to pin you for yeah. what you would like to share as well. So here we go. Yeah. What's up? What's on your mind? Um, saying like having the freedom to stay away from being PC, right? That we don't need to be politically correct. We don't need to be socially good. Like we can stay away from that and show up as who we are, each of us. And there is such a such an acceptance and such a love and such a um, admiration for the humans that we are. Um, and so, so that like being able to say, we come as we are you know, and so in the community, like when there has been, you know, things on Facebook that maybe didn't line up with, you know, like people talk to each other about it and we come to a place where there's understanding, you know, I think that that's a really big part of On Purpose is that we want to understand each other and we want to truly know each other deeply and in a real and raw way. And so, being in this summit, in this area of the summit where we, we can learn from each other and grow from each other in all the aspects, you know? So our, our culture code of be present, celebrate wins, create connections, give gratitude, share moments, build vision, um, and we're stronger together. Yes, I did need to look and flip through the journal. <laughs> That's something I need to memorize, but to be able to do that, like sharing moments, that's such a huge part that when, when each of us shows, chooses to show up in our raw self, like that has included ugly tears that has included sharing things in a group setting that you wouldn't normally share anywhere else that has included, I mean, we we hold this space for each other and it is a sacred space. It is a space of knowing that you can truly be yourself. So thank you for all of those comments and Shelly for seeing that that, I mean, that has been from the beginning and will forever be. That is something that no matter. Yeah. Hi, I got a little cat. Hi, baby. I'm recording. Sorry. <laughs> I love you. Bye. Bye. Um, 
but that is being able to being able to come like that will forever be no Mm -hmm. matter what happens around that is foundational that is a foundational decision and so um as long as op is around that that will be here so it's a forever thing but thank you for sharing that um um, ooh, I'm going to read a couple of the things. Or Beck, do you want to read those? Go ahead. Uh, Foxy said, I also thought about how I teach more right now. I'm learning your voice of fear, and I want to shine a light on our voice of freedom more. It's important to know both. Yes. Yes. Do you want to tell us more about that? I think it is also up to take also up to us to take advantage of this culture yes please (laughs) like please take advantage of it it brings life yeah so with the voice of fear and freedom like in my talk that I give I I give more of a visual around our voice of fear and then when it comes to our voice of freedom I kind of talk a little bit about fear and freedom and the differences and discerning between the differences, but I don't give a visual of what your voice of freedom can look like. And so, Mm -hmm. um, or feel like, and so I feel like that's something I need to add to my talk. And then with the second one, like we can say we have this atmosphere and there's those of us who have shared and had the ugly cry. And, and so it's, it's up to us to take advantage of this space and know for ourselves that we really can come and be here and, yeah. and speak our truth and um, challenge each other and say, I hear you believe this way. This is the way I believe. Mm-hmm. And, um, and have those conversations because I know for me, uh, most of my life, I would shy away from those yeah. um, because I received judgment and you know, being looked down on or called names or whatever, because of what I believe. And I know that coming here, I can share what I believe and I don't get that. And so if someone else is coming and thinking, oh, I don't want to share what I believe because I might get this, know that you won't. And, but you won't know that until you give it a try. Yeah. Yeah. It's a judgment-free zone that will always be a foundational truth also is that it is a judgment-free zone. We come from different places. We come from different mindsets, different worlds. And Shelly also put, um, come as you are, but grow into who you want to be. And that is, that's exactly like, that is one of the purposes that on purpose with purpose is around. So thank you for all of your ahas. And Matt, I'm going to hand it over to Beck, our MC. P.S. Isn't Beck doing an amazing job? Woo-hoo! Yeah. I love it. <clears throat> um, yes. So thank you everyone for your, your takeaways, your ahas, your insights about, um, you know, the summit and the um, on purpose of purpose community as a whole. Um, that's always so filling to hear that our vision is um, being fulfilled with each and every one of you showing up to be who you are. And we're going to be transitioning into our next speaker.